Daniel Hughes and Daniel Johnson in Geneva. ever global conference on sustainable transport will set a new direction that will protect the environment and foster prosperity. That's according to the senior UN official leading the conference, which takes place this weekend in Ashgabat, Turkmenistan. Wu Hongbo, who heads the Department of Economic and Social Affairs, or DESA, said that the groundbreaking summit reflects the growing awareness of the crucial role that transportation plays in sustainable development. It will bring together governments, the United Nations systems, the private sector, and the civil society to set a new direction for global transport. A direction that fosters prosperity and the well-being while protecting the environment. Mr. Wu told the first press conference on Friday ahead of the summit that there were major challenges facing the transportation sector, which is responsible for generating around a quarter of all greenhouse gas emissions. The alarm has been raised for thousands of Nigerians displaced by insurgent attacks who've been found in makeshift shelters in neighboring Cameroon. UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency, says that for the first time earlier this month, it gained access to the far north region of Cameroon, where it helped register more than 21,000 refugees. Many of the displaced fled attacks by Boko Haram terrorists in northeast Nigeria, and they want to return home, but ongoing attacks and killings have prevented them from doing so. In the meantime, UNHCR says that the refugees are either living with host families in Cameroon or sheltering under trees and in abandoned villages whose residents have fled Boko Haram violence. Concern is growing in Syria for an estimated 85,000 people who've been stuck on the country's border with Jordan for months with next to no humanitarian assistance. According to UNICEF, the UN Children's Fund...